So my name is Alex Roman Jr. I go by Donkey Boy. That's my artist name. And I'm a full-time artist. I get to paint murals and just be around art uh, every day. So I'm Travis Torrance. I'm a lawyer. And I work for Shell Oil Company, but I also manage other lawyers and legal support professionals like paralegals. Uh, my name is Dr. Barakiel Reina, and for the past 15 years, I've been working at NASA's Johnson Space Center. I am not an astronaut, I'm an engineer, uh, so my job is to help the astronaut. So I uh, all the medical hardware that's on the space station or on the shuttle or on our future vehicles. Um, my job is to try and figure out what sort of hardware we need, and then we, we make that hardware, and then we, we, we launch it up into these these, these different vehicles to make sure uh, that, that it's there for the astronauts, and then and then we keep it uh, maintained and make sure it's actually working. So we're kind of like having a, an emergency room in space. That's kind of what we do. My name is Lauren Anderson, and I work with the Houston Ballet. And I was a dancer with the Houston Ballet for 25 years. I was the first African-American to reach the rank of principal dancer in a major ballet company in the United States. And Houston Ballet is Houston's dance company. And it's um, in 2000, 2001, and 2002, I was the football pick and ballerina on 99.1. They used the radio show, the radio station. They used to have a morning show called Lauren's, Lauren Anderson's Friday Fearless Football Forecast. And the first two years, I was over 80%. Most people don't realize, but like in high school, I used to pole vault. Um, and so pole vaulting is whenever you kind of run down this like little narrow track and you stick a pole in the air, it kind of bends and it shoots you up in the air for about 12 feet and, you, and, and then you land on a mat. And so uh, it was a fun time um, and I wish that I could still actually cold vault. So lots of people will know this if you end up Googling me, but before I went to law school, I was an on-air personality. I was a DJ for a big radio station in New Orleans. So um, before turning to the law books, I used to introduce Britney Spears and Jennifer Lopez songs for a living on the radio. Uh, well, I play the guitar. I used to be in the cover band, and uh, and I love uh, jujitsu and I love grappling. Oh well, I mean, attendance is critical, um, and you have to actually be present. You have to actually show up um, in order to do any of these things. Uh, you actually have to, to to be present at work. Uh, uh, the work's not going to get done. Uh, if, if, if you're not there to do it, if no one's there to do it. So in order to do my job, you have to show up every day. And I don't just mean, you know, physically, you also have to show up mentally every day. If you think about it, working for Shell or any business, our businesses and our facilities are operating around the world 24-7. So in order to keep up with the pace, you have to commit to showing up, whether that's in the office, from your home office, which is where I'm at today. When somebody hires you, um, they expect you to go to work, right? So you, where I'm at right now, at the level that I'm at, I have to provide a work schedule. So uh, recently I just did a, a, a mural with the University of Houston, TDCU, and they asked for a work schedule. So I have to be there on time, uh, the days that I say I'm going to go and sometimes they'll have people filming or they'll send uh, a news station over, wh whatever it may be, I have to be there because they're planning things around me being there. So it's definitely very, very important. Attendance impacts my job greatly. First of all, as a dancer, you don't show up, you don't get to dance and somebody else is going to replace you. If you don't show up, you can't stay in shape. Dancers are like athletes. We actually not like athletes. Dancers are athletes. And just like being a football player or a basketball player, if you don't show up, somebody else is going to take your spot and then you're off the team. Also, oh. if you don't attend, you don't get paid. If you don't go to work, you don't get paid. Is that First of all, all the stuff that we do in school, we're practicing for life. So you are practicing to be an adult. Uh, so it's very important to, to attend school and to be punctual as well. Um, and honestly, like, you have to go to school because you have to learn. When you, 
as an artist, I have to know about so many different things. I, I have to constantly keep learning. If, if I get hired by whoever it is to, to come up with a mural, I have to research, I have to, you know, so all that knowledge that you obtain in school is very important when you get older. Yeah, so it is important to go to school and attend class for a number of reasons. But first and foremost, getting your education unleashes your potential. Oh, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're one and the same. I mean, every single day. <laughs> Hold on one second. You're we fine. have uh, another <laughs> HISD student here who uh, is doing some virtual learning, and he's actually attending class right now. Every single day that you're not in class, it means that you're not learning something. And if you're not learning something, it means that you're not doing better. And if you're not, if you're not making yourself better, you, you're not going to be able to contribute uh, whenever it's time to either have a job or, or you know, whatever it actually is that you're, you're, you're going to be doing when you grow up. Um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's incredibly important. If you're not present, you're not learning. If you're not learning, you're not making yourself better. So I faced a lot of challenges and issues in my life, and I don't often dwell on them because I've often seen challenges as, as opportunities as well. But probably the most difficult thing that I've ever faced was the death of my mom when I was a junior in college. I was in New Orleans, and everything was going wonderfully within my college experience, but she was diagnosed with cancer, and three months later, she died. And that completely turned my world upside down. Um, what I thought about, though, was all of the life lessons that my mom had taught me. I thought about how getting an education and going to school was so important to her. And it encouraged me, and it, it really made me work even harder than ever before. So I was committed to making even better grades than I made in the past. Um, so that's how I turned that challenge into opportunity. But I'll tell you, those days were probably some of the darkest days of my life. So the original thought of ballet, people don't look like me. So uh, there have been times when uh, I thought, you know, I, won't, I can't do this because the people that do this don't look like me. And the beautiful thing about um, dance and the arts and, well, anything, really, is if you put your mind to it and work hard enough, um, you can make it happen. You know, when it's those times that it's too hard is when you push really hard, when you come out on the other end and you realize it wasn't really that hard at all, it just took a little more effort than you thought. It always takes more effort. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the rub right there. All, no matter what, it always takes more effort. 